Hello everyone, it's Ben at TV Parts today. In front of me on the table, we have an LG unit, model OLED 65A1 PUA. We are gonna be going over some of the troubleshooting techniques that you can use if your TV is not getting any power. Uh, so the first thing that we would do is check any sort of power strip or surge protector that you have your television plugged into, make sure that that is functioning properly. Uh, you can always try a different outlet. So if you have eliminated some of these more simple, rudimentary troubleshooting techniques and you feel like that you need to get in there and do a board swap, we would suggest starting with the power supply board. We're gonna have a short video here highlighting exactly how to get that power supply out of your unit. The first step for the power supply board is gonna to be to get all of these clips away from the board itself. Start with this guy. We wanna squeeze down on the right and left side. There's two little buttons on the right and left side of this clip. We wanna depress those slowly walk it up and away from the board. This one is gonna have a lever that we're gonna to wanna to depress with our thumb. So we squeeze down on that, letting that latch open, and it comes right out. Exact same style with this guy. Push down with our thumb, pull it right out. All that's left here is going to be a handful of screws going around the outside of the power supply, and this should come up and away from the chassis. And that should be the power supply board. The next board that we would try swapping out would be the main board. We're gonna have another short video here highlighting exactly how to get that out of your unit as well. For the main board, the first step is gonna get all of the plugs and clips away from the main board itself. Uh, we're gonna start with this guy right here. You wanna pinch down on the right and left side on those two little clips, depress them both, slowly walk it out and away from the board. This one right here, we're gonna pop it up with our fingernail. We're gonna do this guy to you. And then what we wanna do is slowly walk these ribbon cables out and away from the main board. Uh, they are pretty delicate. We do wanna be careful with those that we don't cause any damage to those ribbon cable connections. This guy is gonna be the same style as this one. We're just gonna to wanna to punch down on the two sides, slowly walk it out away from the main board. The next step is going to be to get all of the screws holding the board into the chassis uh, out of the main board so that we can free that here. And after the screws come out, we should just be able to lift this main board up and away. It is important to note that there could be other issues with your unit that can be giving you these symptoms. We're gonna have a link down below in the description to a subreddit that you can go to if you wanted to go over those symptoms, if you wanted to ask any questions. Uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. Don't forget to like the video, leave us a comment down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook 